Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bubbles. The P today stands for per my last email. And welcome to IMHO. Hi, Barbie. Per my last email. Oh, you weren't going anywhere with that? No, it just no, means, no it just stands to. for per my last email. There's nothing cuntier than a per my last email. Yeah. Email. Except for maybe a perm. Oh, wow. Well, That's obviously. pretty cunty. Yeah, and, and permanent. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Now, we haven't seen Barbie, so no spoilers. We're just excited that it's opening Barbie weekend. Yes, at time of filming, it is currently opening Barbie weekend, and... And I think it's kill I think it's beating Oppenheimer. Obvi. Obviously. Yeah, everything should. Oppenheimer sounds like a goddamn disaster. Oh. Well, I mean, it is a disaster. It, I think it was I a disaster. Yeah, technically, it was, yeah. No, I haven't seen it, but I... You know what? My mom... And my nieces and nephews and my sister saw it yesterday. Barbie or Oppenheimer? Barbie. Oh, okay. So I asked her how she liked it today, and she said, oh, I didn't really like it. I was like, okay, what didn't you like okay, about don't it? Don't make me lose respect for your mom. Well, this isn't this isn't a spoiler. Oh, fuck. It is. You think non-spoilers are spoilers. So I, I do. I probably can't tell you Don't say story. it. All right, well, let's put a pin in that, and we'll tell you after we're going to see it. You can't get mad at me that I don't like things spoiled. It's not a spoiler. It's already out there, but I don't know what you have taken in. I haven't taken in anything, you bitch. So I don't want to stay it. Thank you. That was really sweet. All right. So my birthday at time of filming is in mm. a couple days. So what we're going to do for my birthday is see Barbie. And I just want to say, my birthday's on a Tuesday, and obviously it came out. Thursday, technically. You've waited this long to see it, and I thank you for that. You're welcome. I, I really wanted to see it last night. I know, and I appreciate that you didn't. But I'm so excited to see it with you. Bringing us closer together Barbie, Through a doll and a real Barbie, life doll and a bitch Everyone's talking about Barbie. Have you seen that on Dexter's Lab? The toy that, what was her name? Dee Dee? Dee Dee. That she would play with was Darby. Oh, that's cute. I keep cute. getting tagged in that. Thank you for that. Also, <laughs> we have a couple of, just like a couple business uh, IMHO announcements. We are taking a break from Mexico for this week. It is my birthday and I'm going to take a couple it's days too off. too hard to get down there. Like the flights were booked because mm -hmm. everyone's coming to yes. see Barbie. So we couldn't get a flight for really, Mexico this weekend. Cancun was really So we're going to double up next week. Yeah, so um, next week we will be doing two episodes. So thank you for your patience. And then also we just filmed us getting hypnotized yeah that will be coming out a little later I did cry I don't remember it but I did and so she but I'm, I'm keeping it I have a tear stain. it's important to remain who you are listen tears stain the strings of my guitar what is that who is that Tasha I don't, know. I don't know. Alexis, before we get into all the exciting things that happened on All Stars 8 Vanelli, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Surfshark! Surfshark. Yes! <laughs> yes! Surfshark is a VPN that keeps your information safe from internet criminals and allows you to travel the world from the comfort of your own. Yes. Oh. All eight continents. Are there eight? Surfshark. All Stars 8 continents. <laughs> Oh, is that why you said it? Yeah. How many continents are there? I don't know. North America, South America, Antarctica, Australia. Asia. Asia, Africa, oh. Europe. There's seven. Uh, but I was making a joke. There's seven. Oh. Surfshark allows you to travel all seven continents. No, so what I mean by that, Surfshark allows you to change where your location is. So you can travel the world and you can watch TV from other countries. Now, y'all know that I'm in a K-drama era, but there are other international television shows There's I like. There's a really good horror series I like from Australia, Jennifer Lopez, called Wolf Creek. Is it like Dawson's Creek or Shit's Creek, but with wolves? Honestly, it's way scarier and darker than those. I don't know, Moira Rose could be kind of scary. It's disgusting. It's bad. Trigger warning. It is oh. awful. It well, is don't graphic. Watch that. But I love it. with the actors and writer strikes going on right now, you're gonna have to find new TV somewhere. Let's yeah. be honest. And honestly, using Surfshark, using this VPN is a really great way to do that. Also, it keeps your information safe. When you are on the internet, all your stuff, it goes like this into, into the cloud. And there's internet criminals like this. Where's that cloud? They sniff too. I don't, I've never met one. They keep those criminals away from all of your information. And that's really important because all of my information is also all of her information. She's 
while my information is like on one plus one is two. Yeah, and, two and I keep that safe eight, for her, thanks to Surfshark. But you too seven, can actually nine. keep your information safe and travel the world by signing up for Surfshark using the code IMHO at checkout, and you get three months free. Three months? That's more than one. It's more than two. That's a it's, full it's term four, pregnancy. Thank you again, Sir Shark, for sponsoring us today. And um, stay safe from the sharks when you're surfing. Surf Shark does it better. Surf Shark does it right. Surf Shark. Surf Shark. I did want to ask you, what do you think of this Ben Platt stuff? Oh, the Nepo baby? Yeah. Ah, just come, just be who you are. Right? So no. Ben Platt, for those so of you ben who Platt don't know. So Ben Platt did an yeah. interview. It is known that he is the son of a... Producer, producer that produced Wicked and a bunch of other stuff of Broadway. Dear Evan Listen, Hansen. I always thought it was kind of silly this idea that he didn't want to talk about Nepo stuff because he has a really beautiful voice. He's very talented. So why not just say, yeah, I got a leg up. But I think my work speaks for itself because I think it is true with him. Maybe not so much other people, but he also... He was on the cover of The New Yorker or New York Magazine, the, oh, Nepo, for the baby Nepo Baby thing. issue. So when Rolling Stone or someone else was doing an interview with them, they were like, you were on the cover of that magazine. What do you think about this Nepo Baby stuff was all they they asked. And, and he was like, like, no. no and then his people stepped in. And, and they, they put like, it in the article. No. Which is hilarious. Yeah. So then the reporter was like, and then this happened. And I was like... Yeah, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Just be who you are. Also, he was original Evan Hansen. Great. But then years later, when he very clearly wasn't a high school aged child anymore, got the, the lead role in Evan Hansen, which I, kind of, I think kind of tanked the whole entire movie. Yeah, no, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't I need couldn't. to. I couldn't. I was too busy. What I love, though, about all of that, first of all, it just doesn't make him very likable, okay? And we all make decisions, no, yeah. okay? It would we make can. him likable if he was like, yeah, sorry. Which is how I feel about Allison Williams. She wasn't very likable until she did that. daughter of Brian Williams. She actually comes out and she's like, yeah, no, I, I realize I'm very fortunate. I acknowledge that I have a leg up and I'm... I'm very lucky. Yeah, that's all we need to hear. We don't need you to apologize for it. And now, be like, she's yeah. an, now she's a Nepo baby icon. Icon, iconique. When yeah. they are going down the line talking to these people who don't talk about it, they always say, just be like Allison. Why can't you just Why be, can't like you be like Allison, Allison Williams? Please. She was Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't talk about that, I hope. <laughs> Allison, we love you, but we need to move past that. We should really have her on. <laughs> yeah, let's get her on real quick. Oh my God, okay. Before we, I'm sorry, final thing. I had the most satisfying, <sighs> this woman was being inconsiderate in her Tesla and then immediate karma, not karma, but Tesla, immediate Tesla. So picture it. We're going to Uncle Paoli's in Studio City and there's a parking mm -hmm. lot behind it and whatever. Anyway, so the first part you enter where all the parking, parking spots are, she's just stopped and parked in the middle of it so that you can't get into the parking lot. And so I stopped for a second, like maybe she's waiting on someone to pull out and like maybe the car turns off when it's not moving. I don't fucking know. Anyway, but no, she doesn't end up moving. And so I squeeze my tiny little car around and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And she's just on her phone, parked in the middle of the lane so that no one can use it. So I squeeze around her and I park. And then when I come out, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something because like that's fucked up like she's blocking everyone this is there's no there's open parking spots go pull into a parking spot you stupid bitch we come up to the car and she kind of glances up and i say just pull into the parking spot pull in pull in and i start pointing at this like parking spot and the woman moves her car she does in fact move her car into a parking space and i was like what the fuck was that i said that out loud to my husband cut to there's a dumpster right there that i guess i hadn't noticed there was an old lady eating an ice cream cone by the dumpster who's like watching this all happen old lady eating an ice cream cone by the dumpster goes ah she's entitled <laughs> and we connected we were both like Fuck that lady. I made the lady move. She moved. It felt so good. Oh. And then I went and got my sub, okay, from Uncle Paulie's. And I'm walking back to the car. Old lady's still by the dumpster. She's gonna, listen, she's gonna take her time. It's a hot day. So she's just looking, looking, and she goes, hey, that parking spot was too small for her car, so she had to move it to a back parking spot. I was like, thank you for keeping an eye out. <laughs> 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 
And then we got in our car, we pulled away as little old lady just eating her ice cream cone by the dumpster. Listen, it felt like a win. You know what I mean? Like when you see someone being inconsiderate and you're like, I'm getting too worked up. I'm the only one that is bothered by this. But then, no. Little old lady by the dumpster told me I was right. You got And I was had, right. Yes. It felt so good. Cause there's something about Teslas and Mercedes. They do whatever the fuck they want. What's that about? Mm -hmm. Entitlement. Like that lady uh, said. Mouth full of ice cream. Ah, uh, she's entitled. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I love that woman. Oh my gosh. I hope gosh. she's doing well. Well, speaking of wins, let's get into All Stars 8. It is the finale. Darby, how are you feeling after this season? season? <laughs> Listen, anytime we get to revisit some of our old faves, and oh, like, yeah. an All Stars is always going to be fun. Some All Stars are better planned and perhaps better casting. More interesting. But yeah, I mean, it's always fun to see your faves return. Yeah, and it's fun for everyone to get another shake at being on screen. And I will say, going into it, I think, if you go back and watch the cast reveal, I think I did say like, oh, this seems like an even playing field. It wasn't a bunch of Trixies and It's because we were Bianca's discounting and... someone, I think. I was certainly discount. I was, certainly was not expecting Jimbo to do as well as she was. Oh, I think Jimbo was always a front runner, but there weren't that many front runners. There wasn't that tension. There wasn't that. I didn't like the even playing field once it started. I liked the yeah. idea of it, and I was really excited to see them. But where's the conflict? Where's the mm. who's it gonna go to kind of thing? Instead, it was like, well, obviously it's going to Jimbo. Everyone else, just have fun. Speaking of. Did you see? The Roscoe's. Let's, Let's no, do it. Roscoe's viewing parties, you know, they always have. Naisha, who is always quick to spill the tea, I feel. <laughs> yeah. She was... Kind of messy. Fun. For the final episode, they did a last minute lip sync sw song switch. Producers did the producer thing. Where they, they were produced. like, hey, Candy, by the way. We're, we're going to change the final, the final lip, sync. lip sync. And Candy knew that it was a Jimbo-centered song. A song that Jimbo had put in. So Candy got really pissed. I guess all the right contestants so. put in like songs that they're that they good know. at or they yeah. know or they feel confident in. And I guess Milkshake, which was the song they wanted to change it to, was on Jimbo's list. And Candy knew that. So Candy flipped the fuck out as she should have. I completely yeah. agree with her on I'm this. I'm on this Candy's not side. A critique. I completely agree. She was like, Calm. well, fuck you. Call my mom. Call, Call my, my mom. mom. If you want to hand her the crown, hand her the crown. You're not getting a finale out of me. Then you don't get a finale episode. Give me my phone. Call my mom. I'm going home. Fuck this. Honestly, good for her. Good for her. I'm on Team Candy. Whether this is true or not, I like the idea. It's true. It. It's true. Allegedly. It's true. Allegedly. Yeah. And I love it. So eventually they do end up backing down. I hope they apologized. I hope. So then they have to do their individual numbers, right? And they keep making Candy do hers over and over and over again. Oh, I didn't finish the rest of the TikTok. Oh, bitch. Oh, this is good. Allegedly. It's all alleged. It's all alleged. Y'all can just go watch Roscoe's if you want the full story from the person who was actually there, but I'll tell you. You know, like when they do the runways, they do the runways twice. They do it once with music so you can really feel yourself and walk in the beat. And then the second one without music for a reason I don't remember. Anyway, so then for their numbers, they were doing the same thing. Like Jimbo performed her number a couple times, blah, 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 and it was Candy's turn and they just kept going and kept making her do it, kept making her do it. She kept killing it. She would do it and she didn't make a single mistake. So they do it again. Didn't make a mistake, do it again. Oh, keep doing it until so they in Yeah, in one of them, the final one, she slips and hurts her ankle. Then when they were filming her confessional, her talking head, they said, so tell us, when you were doing your final number, you slipped and you hurt your ankle. Tell us about that. You know what Candy said? What are you talking about? No, I didn't. I didn't slip. No, my ankle's fine. I didn't hurt my ankle. So they can't use it. They can't show her slipping and not have her acknowledge it. It wouldn't make sense from a storyline perspective. Candy knew what the fuck they were doing, and she said no. Candy the producer Muse earning her title. She is a drag 
race legend for yeah. that. She is a star and an icon oh, and a legend. Oh my god. From the moment she walked, someone pointed it out to me on a, uh, not to me, but pointed it out on a TikTok. <laughs> out to me personally. Her entrance look from her first season with the boombox and pressing play when yeah. her lip sync started. Just iconic. Yeah. So fucking good. Yeah. She has always been that girl. So this was a very long road and it was sad to see her not win. But she got all the episodes. She got all the episodes and that's she, literally that's at the, the best, end of the day. That's, that's the best. That's the best for anyone yeah. can hope for on these shows. It's just at least show off everything you brought. And she did and she fucking killed it. But she'll forever have my heart for that. I'm so proud of her for the way she handled that. Yeah. That's got to be so hard. Good for her. Um... What happens in this? They came back after the Fame Games. Naisha, oh God, it was so funny. Naisha's funny, uh, not on purpose, but she's funny. Yeah. She was like, I love this top two. Y'all are so different. You bring such different things to the table. And like Jimbo, I love your drag. And Candy, I live for your drag. And then oh, they cut yeah. to Jimbo and Jimbo goes, oh. <laughs> It was so good! Uh, what I loved about this particular episode that's different from a lot of the finales is that the returning girls are just there. They're there the they're whole just time. They're there the whole time. Yeah, that's fun. What I loved about it was also kind of what I thought was really strange about it. Like when Rue came out and she's only addressing Jimbo and Candy, but the entire Everyone's line there. is there. And they're all just standing there listening and they're reacting. And the people closest to Candy and Jimbo are like, Mm-hmm. What was the person at the end of the line thinking? Like, why am I here? Yeah. Like, it was so weird. I would get it if... No, I don't get it. Why did yeah. they have all of them line up? It's weird. Everyone line up. RuPaul's gonna ignore you. Okay. While the girls are doing their numbers, recording and all of that, the other girls are doing big fuzzy box pink questions. That was kind of fun. They, kind of cute to see them. They just won like little prizes. They won little prizes. Questions. They had to answer questions and I thought that was cute. It's a time filler, but it is really exciting to see the girls getting money. Yeah, like, and getting screen money. time. Now, Darby. Yeah. You know I'm really technologically advanced. Yeah. And I'm super good at all of it. Sure. But I ran out of space on my phone, so I couldn't get pictures of the looks. But I described them. So first up was Rue with her mirror. are you serious? That's so funny. <laughs> I couldn't. You didn't have enough memory on your phone to take pictures of the looks, so you described them. So I wrote them out. That's the sweetest and the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> So well, that's me, sweet and sad. <laughs> sweet and sad bevels. Rue comes out in that's a mirror. That's so funny. I'm sorry. Go ahead. She's in a mirror dress. She's like in like a little, little charm. Let me see what you wrote. Mirror, mini dress, blonde hair. <laughs> that's all you need. You can see it, right? She yeah. looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, she did your performance. Did you see that? I did ASMR. I gotta say, I really liked the song. I did too. I do want to challenge, Rue, you're watching obviously. Rue, hi Mama Rue, thank you for everything you've done. We love you. I do want to challenge you for the next finale. The songs that you're doing, the vocals aren't, don't require a lot. I, I don't think it would be like something that would be difficult. I would love for her to just live sing it. It would give her more- She can't remember the words. But she lip synced. She can do the vocals, but she can't remember the sequence of the words. But she's lip syncing. Yeah, but I guess that's different. <laughs> Ignore her. Listen to me. You're I like her low energy because it gives us a really good look no, at the dancers. No, I know, but I want, And you can see I all wanna, of their faces and how cute their butts are. She could just stand there and be like, look at me. And when their hips ASMR. move. ASMR. Their hips ASMR. don't lie. That kind of thing. That'd yeah. be fun. Then we get the performances of the top two all-stars. Jimbo is first. She's wearing the white version of her Canada One entrance look. Remember when she was in all black and yeah. climbing up that mountain and screaming? I wonder what she would have worn had she done that for the makeover challenge. I'm this was just the guessing. From the makeover. I'm just guessing. Probably something with like huge tits. tits. Yeah, that's a probably pretty good guess. Yeah, I liked her song a lot because it's it called, was quirky and weird. Yeah, I called? remember being born. Which yeah. like, oh, same. 
Can't get enough. Do you remember, was it the fourth season reboot of Gilmore Girls when Kurt does a number where he's being born? He's doing his own birth. That is quite possible. Oh, the reboot with the four episodes? Yeah. Yeah, with Sutton Foster. And yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's in the reboot. It might be in a later season. Either way, Kirk, big fans. Kirk, big fan, and we stand with you. Yeah, I liked the song. At first, I kind of had a negative reaction to Leland being the voice. on, Not because of Leland. Why did I sing Oh, out? that was his but voice? It sounded like him. Oh. I think it was. Yeah. But it was a man singing, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. But with Jimbo... It made sense. Anything, I liked it. Yeah, anything could happen. I thought it was quirky Jimbo. and weird, and it should. It, yeah, I liked that it was lower. Candy was next. She was in like this gorgeous tangerine dream, oh and her God. song was very like '80s, like "Pay Me My Money." It was so candy. It was so. Oh, I just I liked it a lot. Yeah, I liked it. I just like Jimbo's you know what it reminded me of more girls with Jimbo just than that connected with Candy to me for oh, me, I, I mean. yeah go ahead I'm sorry remember that movie Girls Just Want to Have Fun I ever yes, made you of watch course. it or you watched it I haven't but I know you love it okay it reminded me of that it reminded me of like big hair skimpy outfit attitude and around not quite dancing but like attituding attitude around and. It was all about like, give me mine, bitch. I thought it was fun. I liked it. No, it was fun. It absolutely was fun. It's just Jimbo's was so Jimbo that I wanted, like I would have loved if she had gotten to maybe do the boombox thing. Like if she had done some sort of throwback to like when she first came out, you know, like do something with like a boombox yeah. and I don't know, just want to see her connect. Yeah, yeah. She was great. Well, I mean, it's production. candy. It's yeah. candy. She's great. Show stopping. Let's get into the final looks. We get to see all the girls again. We're going to start off with Monica Beverly Hills. I wrote purple. She was in that purple with the gorgeous... <gasps> that hair. The hair was gorgeous. The fucking giant boa. She looked like a million bucks. Yeah, she really did. She looked so You could tell so she felt so... Yeah, confident and the amount of love she's getting online because not a soul of her can song clock. not a soul thank can you clock. everybody like she deserves the yeah, world she I'm deserves so happy it. for her and i'm so excited she's on drag queen merch she's got oh, a she's line got on a drag queen not merch. a soul could not, not a soul clock. Can clock so when you're buying imho stuff just Connie baby just add in add a clock tick on over to not a soul tick 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 clock nisha lopez nisha was wearing a gorgeous joshua naponte oh gown God. and this insane, insane. coat insane. it reminded me like salvador Dolly, the way it was like, uh, and huge, and I loved it. I gotta say though, uh -oh. later when she was sitting down, it yes. made me laugh so hard. And she was like, she had her own divider. You know when you got in trouble in elementary school and they put I've you in the cardboard in divider. Me neither. But when the, the kids hits. next to me would have to get the cardboard box, like yeah, so funny. Rue said something to all the queens sitting on the side, and she had to go. Went, <laughs> it was so good. She looked so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, she's always stunning, but I loved the pink hair, and Joshua Ponte can do no wrong. I would love to see Nisha. Now, this is a lot coming for me, I understand. Change up her eye makeup. I would love to see a lighter eye on her. I think she's so gorgeous, and it's just a big black ring, which I think works for her, but in that all pink and the soft, soft, I just wanted to see, and I know. What I look like. You know who but she I just want Miss Fame should love paint to her. She should oh. do Painted by Fame. Because she's gorgeous. Nisha, yeah. she's like naturally gorgeous. She didn't have to do a whole lot. No, that's the whole thing. She's I would, beautiful. I would love to see a softer eye on her. Okay, my phone auto-corrected. So next is Darian Lake. But my phone wrote Adrian Lake. She, she was like in soap opera star. the neon green and black. She had this amazing coat rip away and then a rip away of a skirt. And then she was in the bodysuit. She was feeling herself. She looked so beautiful. It was such a perfect, mm -hmm. I don't know if this was on purpose, callback to her Billie Eilish look. <gasps> You're that right! It brought me so much joy. Because oh. I was thinking, maybe she knew the Billie Eilish thing was going to be a thing, or maybe she hoped it would be. But it's the same colors. She was able to rip it off and not be as formal. I was like, is this her, like, yassifying Billie Eilish? Like, is that what is happening here? I loved it. Oh, that's so clever. I didn't even think of that. She's been clever this whole season. No, she's a fucking I think she needs to come back. I think there's a new side of her coming out that I just, I need to see more. I need to see what else yeah. she's got. 
Absolutely. James Mansfield, she was a gorgeous tangerine orange showgirl. I thought she has never looked more beautiful. The hair, the way that the headpiece was framing her face and that blonde hair, it almost looked like it wasn't even there. It was just her skin. And the she turned around and you could see it was hair. But like, yeah. I thought she looked or just a bunch of skin. Incredible. She's a Vegas girl now. And so I was so excited to see her come out as a Vegas showgirl. And I just thought yeah. she looked outrageous. It was insane. So good. Insane. So what good. a way to go out. Yeah. And then she was so happy, like at the beginning of the episode, it made me so happy that she got to feel what it was like to win a lip sync. And she was like, I just feel proud that I did it. Listen, not a lot of first outs get the same kind of redemption story that she was able to have this season. And it's really exciting to see that happen, to see the success of that story happen, that maybe, mm. wow, maybe Drag Race will start pulling more first outs. Gone, I'm on trees. I wrote flowers and heart bones cape. So she had the flowers and she right. had the giant cape and right. she had the bones Sunflowers. of her ancestors and a heart right yeah. here. She looked beautiful. She yeah, was, was ocean. Cool. It was cool. I thought she looked stunning. Yeah. Do you have any? Mm-mm. I'm sorry, I don't even, I'm picturing it and I just remember when I watched it the first time how confused I was. But Ashley's, But it was like, cool. But it was cool as shit. Up next was Lala Ree. My phone thinks her name is Layla Ree. I wrote Red Midsummer because she was like all red and then giant red flowers. She looked so beautiful. Red wig, finger waves. I thought she looked like a Barbie birthday cake. You know those Barbie cakes? Yes, that they stick in the middle. In the yeah. middle, and then that's what it looked like to me. I think she looked so beautiful. Up next is Alexis Michelle. She's wearing red as well. Again, her runways have been stunning. She looks gorgeous. Yeah. No notes. No notes. She's one of the most beautiful. She's really good at like a, a madam look, like a saloon madam. Yeah, I, I think she's very good at like a, a classy early <clears throat> 40s. Like a broad. Are you talking about her shoulders? No. Oh. Jessica Wilde, she was in that pink and she looked gorgeous. She was, it was like Marilyn Monroe. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. She Aren't looked absolutely though. stunning. And then our top two, Jimbo, she was a comic book demon. Demon. <laughs> demon. What's a demon? A comic book demon. She had all the colors and the big boobs. I liked it. I did I too. liked it a lot. It, was it reminded Jimbo. me a lot of candy. I was like, okay flipping the script. Yeah. I was expecting Candy to come out with giant tits, but she didn't. No, she didn't, but she did come out looking gorgeous in a stunning canary yellow. Oh my God, I loved it. I loved it too. Of she course I wish- She looks good on her. Yeah, 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 of course. Of course she had the leg. What? Well, of course I relate to a giant cupcake, like where it right. goes out, but I understand she didn't because she wanted the leg out, which I loved. I loved it. So incredible. I I adored this look. So then, is oh, it, does wait, they we didn't even winner? talk about at the end of their solo numbers, they came together oh, they and all then came everyone together. came everyone out came in out white robes. sparkly choir robes. Which don't you have one of those? You, you have a dress made out I of that. I have a white right? sparkly. Yeah. Which was so fucking weird, but fuck it, I loved it. I don't care. Yeah, it was funny. Bug it. So then all the girls come back out, they sit down, they love, they love sitting over there. Then they get to do their final lip sync, which is a little nerve wracking considering Jimbo's track record, but knowing that production really wants her to win, I knew that we'd get a good edit, and we did. Ooh, Candy looks so good in that cape with the pony. Oh, I know, so Oh, Candy looked so fucking good. Those fucking good. bangs. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah. Jimbo. And Jimbo had tit reveal. And tit butt, and butt, butt reveal. Titty. I kind of wish that the butt reveal hadn't happened already, because we saw the butt gag on the butt episode. <laughs> I'm yeah. saying butt a lot. Oh. That scared me. She loves butt. Yeah, she's super into butts. Well, she's a dog. But yeah, the butt was fine. I just, we'd seen it, so I was like, oh, that's not as funny. I, well, I say that, but then when she turned around, I did giggle. Yeah. I love a butt. So we get the crowning, and of course, the winner of All Stars 8. Well, when did they crown the, the um... Oh, they already did. I'm sorry, you're right. Fame when Games. When did they crown the Fame Games? So the Fame Games was crowned at some point during the episode. We're very aware of that. And it goes to La La, La, La Rie. Rie. Which mathematically makes sense, because in the last episode, she won. All of the votes she got got to be multiplied by three. So that was very exciting. And also, I'm just so happy to see her get her 
winners do. She's such an icon superstar and I love her so much that Avi, I'm so excited for her to get anything she wants. I think she, I love her. After the results though, I will say like, and I, I said this all season, like I still want her looks, I want her style to elevate to her level of drag. I think her style still has a little ways to go, in my opinion, for me, mm -hmm. not me. And so I do think there were a lot of girls who outperformed her on the runway. So if the Fame Games is not a miscongeniality and is in fact based on runway, Ways. seeing how because she got that extra spin boom she won they should have just crowned her last week you know what I mean like yeah. it, it didn't it, it was too predictable that's not fun I'm curious to know without the numbers yes I want to yeah, know yeah I want to see I those wanna numbers know. I want to know what the numbers are yeah Again, fucking love her. She can have anything she wants. Happy for her. Yeah, and that. But if we're going off of like the runway, I, I really would like to know what runway is connected with people. Yeah. I have to imagine. This is just me because I wanted it. I have to imagine Darian did well. I have to imagine she did well. Yeah. I don't know. So now we get to the actual crowning. The winner of All Stars Eight is Jimbo. Everyone the knows it's Jimbo. Did you see her crowning look? Okay. Crusty, oh, the clown. The crowning hair. look was incredible. Did you see the, the yeah. moment that she Ow. won? The, yeah. When she found out? Yeah. Her breathing so heavily. <gasps> I thought, I, I'm scared of her. I'm back to being scared of her. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, but you know how like when you say phrases and then you end with, uh, yeah. You also start phrases with, <gasps> oh, I, I, do know that. I do know that about myself. It's funny, it's funny. Now that I know, knowing what I know now, okay, allegedly what I know now about Candy knowing for sure it's all going to Jimbo anyway, good on Candy for playing the game in front of us. Like, yeah. good on her. She seemed genuinely happy for Jimbo. She played the game. She pretended to be nervous. You know, like, she did all the things she needed to do, and I'm very she grateful for Candy Muse. what needed to be, be done. done. And that's a true winner, okay? I mean, Jimbo's the true winner. She has $200,000, American, so good for her. Oh yeah, what's she gonna do with it? Because she can't spend it in Canada. She's gonna have to buy a bunch of coupons or gift cards before she leaves. Fuck. Yeah. It's not weird you can go to a grocery store and you get a gift card for Cheesecake Factory. Do you remember they still had one at the old Target in Chicago, but I haven't seen one in a while. Remember the sound machine where you go and click on a CD? Yeah. Oh, I love doing that. And then it'll no. play an excerpt from it. They used to have a box and all the CD and little pictures of each seat, what each CD represented. So it'd be like ocean sounds or like whales mm -hmm. or like fire pits or whatever. Fire and you just walk pits. by and you press one and then the whales would play as you walked away. And you always pressed. Victimless crime. It was the only thing to do back then. We didn't have phones. We had to press that. We had buttons. Well, thank you everyone for watching All Stars with us. It truly has been long and we yeah. appreciate it. No, we had fun. It was fun. <laughs> I want to leave you with this. Okay. All Stars 8. Did it 8? Did it eat? Did All Stars 8 eat? I think it snacked a little. If you enjoyed this, we will be back with more Drag Race when the new one starts tomorrow. I'm sure we'll be back. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and of course that notification bell. Yeah, and if you'd like to join us on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash show and join us there. Yeah. We're also both on Cameo, so if you'd like a message from us to a loved one or a hated one, hit us up there. And you can also get a Shamio, which is at show.com That's a Cameo, but from both of us with the background, it's like your own mini episode. And dragqueenmerch.com, you got it. Okay, we love you, bye. Hey now, they're hey all now. all stars and hey it's over. It was eight. Hey now. Can I be honest? Yeah. The strikes are happening. Yeah. The people are striking. They're I support them. I stand with them. So good. But I feel like maybe the viewers should go on strike. Like maybe I'm thinking about deleting my Netflix or like un unsubscribing from Netflix until Wait, this is over. Why? So they don't get my money. I don't want to set that up, because how will I watch my K-dramas? Are you on my Netflix? No, but SAG's not asking us to do that. No, but I feel like if these people keep making their money, they're never going to give... Like that guy said, Bob Igor or whatever, he said, let them all fucking strike until they're homeless. Bob Iger, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, so, so what so if bummed. we still give them... What if they're still getting their money, even because we're all streaming their stuff still? If Should I don't stop? if I don't watch Korean dramas, 
my life will be so horrible. So until SAG tells me to stop or wag, I'm not going to do it. Oh, I appreciate no, I appreciate your you trying to. I know that it's you like, don't. It's like what love can unions. I do? You know what I mean? What can I do? Well, thank you so much for asking. You can go to the picket lines and hand out waters and hand out snacks. You can watch Korean dramas, and those are the two things. Mm -hmm. I'm so bummed, y'all. I was so excited about this hair that I. I got these like, or not this hair, but the Barbie thing. I got these little letters and I was going to spell out Darby along my hair. That's why I'm repeating this wig. And I, I didn't know until we started filming that these aren't stickers. I'm a stupid little bitch. The last ones I got were stickers. I need to read. Wouldn't that be cute? Be cute. Oh, well. You can put clips on them. One day when Barbie movie is out of everyone's consciousness. Yeah, so my birthday is July 25th. Thank you everyone for the well wishes. If you want to send us, sorry, me a present, in our PO box is in the description below. Oh, I learned something really interesting about frogs' tongues. Frogs? Yeah, so frogs' tongues, do you know where they're connected? To their butt? No, close to the front of their mouth. Their tongue is connected right here. So when the tongue comes out- Oh, so out, that's why it goes so far? When it comes out- It rolls out. It flips out. Like it's like this in their mouth. Like your tongue is backwards. Flip your tongue. That's how their tongues are. And then they go, and then suck it back in. But it's like, it, it like, how do they talk? Oh, I guess they don't talk. <laughs> They're frogs. Yeah. Wow, that's it. That is interesting. You're welcome. But how did you? Why? TikTok. Do I have to give that up too? Oh, let's say like a sign off. Bye. Bye. <laughs>